Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm with my friend Jaden. But this is gonna be a weekend with diabetes. Today's actually Friday evening. It's 5.30 and this is a kick to start to our weekend. I'm Jaden and I have eczema. <laughs> yeah, so maybe Jaden can talk about his disease as well that he has dealt with. Disease? It's a skin condition. <laughs> My blood sugar is 155.3. It was down asking for calibration. Is that good or bad? So, um, you're not a true fan or friend if you don't know. Jaden just got some Top Dog. If you come to Berkeley, you should definitely Try out Top Dog, what do you rate it? Um, out of five stars, I give it like that. I just say like a three. Oh. Yeah. My blood sugar is 92.2 arrows down, so I'm gonna eat some Gushers to that make it That means it, it go got up. lower, right? Yeah. It used to be at if 155 it was at earlier. 150. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what do you need to maintain it at? Um, I like to keep it around like 120 to 160. Um, but yeah. Okay, we're near the uh, Lawrence liver something hall of science Okay, we just finished up at the lookout point and now Jaden is driving because my blood sugar is low Does that really have anything to do with like you and your correlation? <laughs> yeah, because when I'm too low I cannot oh I'm 62 going an arrow down and I ate all my gushers and I didn't bring anything else So we're gonna go to the store now. It's 20 minutes away. So hopefully my blood sugar. This is poor Wait, what are you at right now? 60. What happens when you reach a zero? <laughs> <laughs> so this was bad preparation on my end, but I think I'm okay. Wait, what's the lowest you've reached? Like 30. Zero. Once you hit like 20 something, you like faint. Oh really? Yeah. Have you gotten to that one? I fainted once. Um, yeah, which is a story time that I can get into in the future. Okay, we're at KP Asian Market. Okay, we're back, and here's some stuff that we got. We got some Asian pears, ramen, a bunch of Asian stuff because it's an Asian market, and I never go to the Asian market. We're making dinner now, and we got um, sushi stuff, but we realized all we got was like the crab and fish and rice and seaweed, but no cucumber or anything. So instead, I'm gonna try making a sushi bake. And Jaden is making an Asian dessert. Okay, it's currently 8.48 and we've been eating dinner. We made like, put this rice in. My blood sugar is really high, but it has like 15 units on board. And I just waited until I started on 15? eating. 15? <laughs> it's at 15 now? No. <laughs> but basically it's because I started bolusing when I started eating when I should have done it beforehand. What is it at right now? 270. Oh. Now it's coconut water. Okay, I'm cutting up some Asian pear now as a dessert. I don't think these have a ton of carb, which is good. My blood sugar is kind of high right now, um, which is kind of crazy sometimes, but I think the insulin will be kicking in. Okay, here's the fruit all cut up um, nicely. Some Asian pear. And my blood sugar is still high, but at least it's not going up anymore. And I have almost 17 units on board. It's Saturday morning and um, it's 7.30 right now. I have an interview at 8, which is why I'm up so early. It's a Zoom interview, um, so I'm getting ready for that right now, but I need to test my blood sugar. That's usually one of the first things I do in the morning is test my blood sugar because usually even if I calibrate right before I go to sleep, there's usually some kind of calibration that's needed in the morning. Okay, I'm 210, so Except the calibration and then also correct for that. Um, okay. And here's my interview look. Not great. Um, my skin is pretty bad, but it's the morning. Just by the summer, I just September, and then you will have to go back to California. Yeah, that's correct. Um, the opportunity to work there, even if it's just for the summer. And yeah, since I'll be back. So it's 10 a.m. and my pump is alerting me that I only have 10 units left. And I'm currently 1.43, so I'm gonna change my reservoir now before we go out um, to hang out and also to breakfast and stuff like that. I only have three bottles of insulin left, so I need to order some more sometime soon. Even though that's a lot, that will last me like two months or more. But I like to have more than just three for backup in case. Are you gonna shoot yourself? Yes. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Basically, adding insulin into the pump because there's no more. 
Wait, is that what all those boxes are for? Yeah. Oh, I have like a bunch of supplies down there. Mm -hmm. Here are dishes from last night. I'm doing that. Just gonna put them into the dishwasher. Okay guys, it's 1045 and we're finally heading over to dim sum right now. Um, yes. How are you feeling, Jason? I feel bad and sad and mad. Okay, Dr. Seuss. Above. My blood sugar is currently 135 and I'm just gonna leave it in our bolus when we get there. You're gonna leave it what? I'm gonna leave it as is and not bowl us beforehand. Bowl? <laughs> We're at the dim sum place and Jaden is ordering. We're by the water. Okay, we're waiting for our food and my blood sugar is 113 and I just bolused 50 grams. Um, yeah, are you excited for dim sum? Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm so full. I, Jaden wants me to eat this, but I don't think I can. Jaden still has those two to finish and this. And he's going strong. <laughs> so we just finished eating. And my blood sugar is currently 153, going two arrows up. But I have almost nine units on board, so I think it's good. And I didn't actually eat too much this morning. Chinese food always makes my blood sugar go really high fast, so I always have to be <laughs> in preparation. We're at Emeryville now, shopping, because <laughs> Jaden doesn't like his fit. <laughs> Okay, um, it's currently one o'clock and we just ate a snack. We got home and I changed my jacket and part of the reason is because this jacket is a lot easier to put my pump in and like more comfortable. But my blood sugar is 200 with four units on board and I just ate a dessert snack. So I'm going to bolus a little bit more. Look at myself like 13 grams because I'm going to go walking now with Jaden to the farmer's market. We made it to the farmer's market. Came a long way. How long was that walk? Like two miles from my apartment? I think that was like three actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, the farmer's market is like two blocks from my apartment, but here we are. We're at the Berkeley all these photos Rose are bad. Garden now. I'm deleting them all. I've never actually been here. It's really pretty. It's pretty bright out today. My blood sugar is currently, let's see, 167. Um, so I'm happy with where it's at, which is good because a bad blood sugar can sometimes ruin the day. We're now at Indian Rock. Okay, it's now 3 p.m. and we just got home and my pump says it's like updating. So I wanna eat some lunch. So I'm just gonna manually test my blood sugar now. And I did actually have my test kit with me when we were out and about. So it's a good thing that we just happened to be coming home around the time when my um, sensor said it's updating annoying when it's like updating because I don't always bring my test kit with me if I have my sensor on but then sometimes complications like that happen okay I'm 129 which is a good blood sugar so I'm gonna bolus like 20 grams and then eat some of my leftover from breakfast okay right now guys my blood sugar is 214 but it has eight seven units on board and we're gonna eat soon at Yongcheng Tofu House all right let's eat Okay, it's Sunday and it's currently, I'm gonna check on my pump what time it is. It's currently 10.51 and my pump is asking for a calibration, so I'm gonna calibrate. Um, all morning I've just been cleaning up my room, so it's pretty boring. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready um, for the day and go grocery shopping and I also can you know, do a bunch of work for school. Okay, my blood sugar is 112, so I'm gonna calibrate, and that's a good blood sugar to be at, I think, for now. <laughs> it's now currently 11 o'clock exactly, and I'm heading over to Trader Joe's with Olivia. We're gonna drive there, even though it's really close. And my current blood sugar is 93. I just calibrated like 10 minutes ago, so I'm just gonna enter in 93 again. And I'm also gonna put my pump on temp target because I have like two units on board. I don't wanna go low while I'm out grocery shopping. Okay, we just went to Trader Joe's and now we're at Target. I'm trying to figure out what battery my camera takes. Yeah, I'm Olivia got a cool battery. I mean, a cool camera and she needs cool batteries. Cool batteries. But my blood sugar is now 155. <gasps> so, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but yes, that's our plan for right now. We just got back and I got some from the place, Target. And I also got flowers, and then here's my groceries I need to put away. Okay, 
Okay, so it's 12.14 and I'm finally gonna start doing my paper that I have to do in school tomorrow. Um, so that's just what I'm gonna be working on for the next couple of hours. And an eyeliner just came in the mail, so I'm gonna be playing around with that now too. Um, I'm gonna try to stay focused, but it is difficult. I'm still in spring break mode. Gonna... Okay, do something for the vlog. <laughs> and it didn't turn out the prettiest but it's pretty good um so here i'll show you it's very good in my opinion okay it's five o'clock now and i'm getting ready to go on a run so i'm gonna test my blood sugar Okay, so I'm kind of high and I've been high so I'm actually going to go on a run to help stabilize my blood sugar because sometimes that works better than um, continuously bolusing. My sensor needs to be replaced in two days and I'm actually just going to take it off now because it's really peeling and bothering me and it's just not staying on. I don't think it's worth like putting a new tape on just to keep it on for like one more day. So yeah, I'm gonna take it off now and charge it while I'm on the run so when I get back from the run and after I shower, I can change my site and put on a new sensor. I'm also gonna be charging my meter because it needs to be charged every so often and it said it's almost out of battery. So since I remember right now, I'm just gonna charge it down here. It's 6.04 and I just got back from my run. That kind of took a while, but I'm glad I went. I haven't run in a couple of days. And when I don't run, I notice my blood sugar like usually just isn't as stable. I don't I actually know that there's a direct correlation, but I've noticed it. So I try to run regularly just because I enjoy it and also diabetes and also overall just health. But I ran five miles and it was really fun. I was running on a track and these little kids kept like racing me every time I came around, which was fun. And the weather was nice and it felt nice to get out. So I'm gonna run and take a shower now and then test my blood sugar and change my reservoir and then eat some dinner. And then I have to finish up a little more homework and then after that my roommates and I are going to a concert tonight, which will be really fun. Now I'm gonna put on the sensor, I'm just getting it out. And um, if you've seen my channel before, you probably already know my favorite spot to put it is always my arm. I used to rotate between my arm and like my stomach, but it just falls off too fast and easily when it's on my stomach because of all the little sweat and sometimes it accidentally like, rips off and stuff like that. So I just alternate between the arms every week and I find that a week rest is enough for each arm. So I'm just going to put that on now. This sensor is super nice because it does not hurt. Usually like at all, really. It feels like a tiniest pinch. It looks scary, but it's not bad. The hardest part about putting the sensor on my arm when I first started putting it on my arm was applying the tape to it by myself. So if you're just starting out putting on your arm, having somebody help you can be good. It doesn't come out as evenly on the arm as it does in other areas where I can use both hands, but I find that it's good enough. It's also hard like removing the tape and applying a new one in the middle of the week if it's on your arm compared to other spots. Just cause again, you can only use one hand to do it all. Yeah, there's my sensor. I'm just gonna start it now on the pump. Press okay. Now I'm gonna grab my sensor that's been charging for the past hour and a half or so and apply it. And I usually apply this piece of tape once I see this go green. Or if you wanna be extra cautious, um, once this says that it's connected, but usually once it starts flashing green, I know that it's good enough Push it down and just apply it and yeah, it's already says that it's connected. So I'm good to go Okay, I finished blow drying my hair and now it's fluffier 
So I'm just gonna do my makeup now. Um, yeah. I just tested my blood sugar. It's currently 715 and I'm 174. So I'm just gonna bolus like five grams, um, 0.5 I mean units, cause I have 0.9 on board for my leftover sushi. Cause I don't wanna give too much cause I don't wanna risk going low. This is way more than five grams. Here's my fit for the concert. Okay, we're waiting. We're waiting for Los Retros at Cornerstone. What are they called? Cornerstone. Is that the Cornerstone? Bakery? No, no it's, it's a good place. Um, the Cornerstone. <laughs> is it that? Is going? It? Yeah, is it lit? <laughs> So it's 10 30 now and this is what my blood sugar is my blood sugar is 188 with 10 units on board and olivia and i are gonna make some food olivia what are you making i have kimchi we're making what? soup Oops. 